Set on the east end of Lake Erie, Buffalo is the second most populated city in New York and a wonderful destination for sightseeing, shopping, and enjoying some leisure time. The city is well known for its lovely historical buildings, including the Art Deco-style City Hall. In recent years, Buffalo has undergone a billion-dollar revitalization and now offers some wonderful public spaces in the city center and along the waterfront. Getting around is easy on the Buffalo Metro Rail, an above-ground train that offers free service for stops in the downtown and canalside area. In today's video let us have a look at top 10 rated attractions in Buffalo, New York. At number 10. She's Performing Arts Center. She's Performing Arts Center is considered a fine example of the great movie palaces of its era. The center was built in 1926 in the classic style with a neo-Spanish Baroque interior. The ornate chandeliers and a marble-lined grand lobby are some of the notable features. Cornelius and George Rapp designed the Shea Theater. The building is listed as a National Historic Landmark, and tours of the grand facility are open to the public by appointment only. At Number 9. Birchfield Penny Art Center. This Buffalo landmark is a top cultural spot in the city and contains the world's largest collection of the works of Charles E. Birchfield. In addition to his works, you'll also find an impressive collection of artwork from the Buffalo-Niagara region. Artwork in various mediums is spread out across 16 galleries. One of the highlights includes the Charles Carey Rumsey Gallery showcasing 3D works of art. At Number 8. Theodore Roosevelt Inaugural National Historic Site Theodore Roosevelt Inaugural National Historic Site is the spot where Theodore Roosevelt took the oath of office on September 14, 1901. The museum features displays related to the history of this important moment in time. You can visit the museum only on a guided tour. The site is at the north end of downtown and easily accessible a couple of blocks off the Buffalo Metro Rail. At Number 7. Delaware Park and the Buffalo Zoo Delaware Park is an incredible asset to the city of Buffalo, with wide-open green spaces, tree-lined walking and jogging paths, and tennis and golf opportunities. One of the main highlights in the park is the Buffalo Zoo. The zoo features a wide variety of animals from around the globe, including a gorilla troop, Indian rhinoceros, polar bears, tigers, and a whole host of other animals. At Number 6. Albright Knox Art Gallery. In Delaware Park, the Albright Knox Art Gallery is housed in an impressive Greek Revival building and features a strong collection of modern and contemporary art. Post-war American and European art is especially notable, with such names as Gorky, Pollock, Warhol, and Johns. Also of note are works by 19th-century Impressionists and Post-Impressionists, including Renoir, Van Gogh, Degas, and Monet. Other movements represented here are Cubism, Surrealism, Constructivism, and the collection includes works by artists such as Picasso, Matisse, and O'Keeffe to name just a few. At Number 5. Buffalo and Erie County Naval and Military Park. Along the canal in downtown Buffalo, beside the revitalized canalside area, Buffalo and Erie County Naval and Military Park is home to guided missile cruiser USS Little Rock, CLG-4, destroyer USS The Sullivans, DD-537 and submarine USS Croker, SSK-246. You can experience how mariners and submariners lived and carried out their patriotic duties. In addition to the ships, the museum also displays aircraft, a variety of models, and other artifacts. At Number 4. Forest Lawn Cemetery. Forest Lawn, founded in 1849, is a large and scenic cemetery, covering 250 acres. The area feels more like a park and is visually stunning, with mature trees, water features, and walking paths. In the fall, the cemetery is particularly beautiful. This is also the final resting place of many famous people. Noteworthy sites include the Blocker Memorial and the President Fillmore Grave Site. Address, 1411 Delaware Avenue, Buffalo, New York. At Number 3. Buffalo and Erie County Botanical Gardens. Olmsted's 155-acre South Park, created in the late 1800s, is home to more than 2,000 plants and trees. Within the park is the 1894 Victorian-style, tri-domed glass conservatory building, originally opened for the 1900 Pan American Exposition, which is the centerpiece of the Buffalo and Erie County Botanical Gardens. The unique glass, wood, and steel design was based on the famous Crystal Palace and Kew Gardens Palm House in England. At Number 2. Canal Side. 
Canal side is a revitalized area of downtown Buffalo running along the canal, where locals and tourists can come to enjoy some green space, relax, and take in some occasional entertainment. The area, the former terminus of the 1825 Erie Canada, includes a lovely park, with Adirondack chairs and benches looking out over the canal, and a walkway along the water's edge. In summer, a number of events are held here, and the schedule is posted in advance online, so you can see what's coming. Each winter, a huge outdoor skating rink is built nearby. At number 1. Darwin D. Martin House. Designed by Frank Lloyd Wright, Darwin D. Martin House is one of the must-see attractions in Buffalo. Located in a lovely residential area on the edge of Delaware Park, this house is considered one of Wright's finest prairie houses and one of his greatest accomplishments from the first half of his career. The complex, which includes six interconnected buildings, was designed and built between 1903 and 1905. Today, it is a National Historic Landmark. Some of the complex was demolished, but over the past two decades extensive restoration and reconstruction has brought the property back to life, and the efforts are still ongoing. 